Welcome back to the channel. If you're a sailor and your track looks like this, you know it's time to move on. And when the odometer is saying 73,000 miles under the assorted keels, maybe it's time for a change. That's what led to the Patagonia adventure and what led to Ginger's latest bright idea. How about we get a trawler for British Columbia and Alaska? And so we jumped on a flight and headed for Vancouver. So here we are at Cycle BC in Vancouver. Off to check out the cruising grounds. But then guess what? The weather said it was going to be wet and cold on the coast, so head inland. So that's what we did. We made it to Lillooet where I had a snooze and a bench. And Anne went for a look round the museum. She's really loving these new boots. <laughs> After our dose of culture, we headed further into the mountains over the passes, and then guess what? Hat Creek Ranch. This is the kind of place that John Wayne would ride into the valley and go, Oh look, we've made it! Paradise! Hat Creek Ranch, which was a stopping point for people en route to the farmlands. There was gold here, there was rich farmland here, obviously there were bears here, there were Native Americans here and the people came in their wagons for the fertile, very fertile valley that we find ourselves in. We come for a cup of coffee. Village, we've had our breakfast and now we are visiting the blacksmith and followed by the teepees. So we have the barbecue, the sauna, the conservatory and the meeting room, although I don't believe these closets are authentic. This is the bar where the cowboys and the farmhands and passers-by travelling on the stagecoach, the men would come in here and play oh, games. Yes. This is day two and if we had joined a tour Day one, they would be about 150k further down the line than this. So we're running a bit behind schedule. Now at home, this would be a corporation bus full of people going to work or going to the shops. But here is an RV you go on holiday in. You get about four gallons to the mile. And of course, you tow along your little truck behind. Very handy. Having stuffed our faces with waffles and a Canadian breakfast, we headed off again. You see some strange things on the road. We caught up with this guy on his hog, and right behind him is his dog. Here we are, peace at last, the last spike. 1885, Craigelchi, British Columbia. Piece of trivia, I was born in Banff in Scotland and on my first birthday I went to Craigelchi for my first summer holiday. Craigelchi, Scotland. This is Craigelchi, British Columbia. Like a nebulous dream was a reality. An iron ribbon crossed Canada from sea to sea often following the footsteps of early explorers, nearly 3,000 miles of steel rail pushed across vast prairies, cleft lofty mountain passes, twisted through canyons and bridged a thousand streams. Here, on the 7th of November, 1885, a plain iron spike welded the east to the west. Craig Elachie is apparently pronounced Craig Elachie. But it's not. It's Craig Elachie. Trust me. So last night we stayed in the Courthouse Inn in Ravelstoke, opposite the courthouse behind these trees. And Stuart's setting up the bike because the controllers for our heated jacket. So we plug in here. I plug into that 
from from our heated jackets. But it was always time to press on, so into the mountains we went. We got deeper and deeper into the mountains and colder and colder. Getting these heated jackets was a great idea. So as you can see, we're not making a great deal of progress on checking out the cruising grounds of British Columbia, but we were getting to see the mountains. Headed up the Icefields Parkway, well named as it turned out, because it was Baltic. And the further we got up the Icefields Parkway, the colder it got. And then, lovely, it started snowing. <laughs> Still want that camper van? Oh, absolutely, after today. One degree in horizontal snow. Finally the weather cleared up and finally we actually got to see some cruising grounds. But all too soon we were back in Vancouver, getting shot of the bike, climbing on the plane and heading back to the boat. We had a meeting with folks from the Ocean Cruising Club to get a tour of Long Island Sound and its fancy yacht clubs. Come and join us for that. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give us a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit the button if you can find it. <laughs>